はい、おびさん大丈夫あ、今もサラリーの話はい<笑>ご苦労様サラリー、はい、ありがとうございました<笑> So, guys, I just received my salary right now You see, salaries in Japan is usually on blue envelope So, you can see the date Can you see the date? Yeah, received today Now that I have received my salary, what I will do is that I will keep this salary. So when I finish work for today, I will have time to go through it and uh, the spending will start from there. So stay with me. I have to go to work now. Hi, Konishiwa. It's another beautiful day. And on today's video, I will be appealing to all my brothers and sisters in diaspora to please help me share this video on all your social media platform because our loved ones at home actually think that we that live abroad do not have any problem and we always pluck money on the tree because they believe that all the roads in abroad especially japan that money is on the street so when you laugh <laughs> japanese will dash you money just like that they didn't know the effort and the stress the hardship that we pass every given day just to make ends meet and some of them are also not appreciative when you give them uh, like a token from your heart they have this entitlement mentality so they think that all the money we earn here we actually earn a lot and we use it for ourselves and we do not have a lot of expenses so that is why i am putting on this video today and i will be sharing how much i earn in japan how i spend my salaries in japan and an average salary you will receive in japan by the way, this is Obisan TV vlog. Please make sure you subscribe. Hi, Seno. This is the summary of my salary so this one is the full amount that i have worked for 280,751,000 yen and these are the taxes that was minus so here includes uh, uh, health insurance pension uh, it also includes uh, work uh, insurance and uh, hello work hello work is uh, a company for work in japan so they minus this distance are my taxes and this is the leftover 233,506 so this is the leftover and this is where the spending will start so after the company have minus their taxes and uh, every other thing the next place where the expenses starts is in the house so you know you have to pay for your house rent because it is very necessary to have a place where you put your head to think and meditate and the rest after a very long day at work so currently we are in my house so i welcome you guys to my house so this house is a, a two bedroom one parlor and uh, over here is what i call a creative room actually majority of the youtube videos that you have been watching is all produced here so this is like my creative uh, room so it's all in this uh, house and here i pay uh, 60 000 yen every month for this house still on my house expenses the next expenses is electricity bill so electricity bill and the water bill these two expenses depends on how you were able to use it in every given month if you use higher you get higher pay if you use lower you get lower expenses so as in my own case my electricity bills is always 5,000 yen and my water bills 
is always 4,000 yen. So still on the house expenses. So the next expenses is my gas station. I call it my gas station because this is like my food bank where I feed my belly to prepare for the fight of survival in Japan. And it's pretty expensive because I cook a lot and I love food a lot. So for my gas uh, expenses monthly, it's usually 6,200 yen. Now that we are done with uh, the entire house expenses, another expenses that I make in Japan is my car. So this is the car that I'm driving in Japan. So first, the land at which my car is parking on right now is not for free. Let me turn the camera around. So this is my car. You can see the lines. So this lines is a demarcation of uh, each uh, parking space. And this is my own parking space. And it's not for free. So every month I pay 5,000 yen for this parking space. It can actually get more expensive if it is in Tokyo where you can pay up to 8,000 yen and above. So because I live in the countryside, so it's cheaper. So you have seen it, so this is the parking space. Uh, we are done with the parking space, so the next is uh, this car I was bought on loan. Actually, majority of us who live in abroad buy their car on loan. So car loan, you will be paying gradually, gradually every month. So for my car loan, I am paying 20,000 yen every month for this car. Another uh, expenses I make on this car is uh, um, car tax. So car tax usually come like uh, 40,000 annually. Also, uh, when you divide 40,000 times 12, which is in a year, it will give you approximately 3,400 yen. So it means that every month I am paying for car tax approximately uh, 3,400 yen every month. Then the next is uh, car insurance. You have to put your car on insurance because you never know when you will get accident. If you don't have insurance in this country and you hit somebody's car, you are in trouble. Somebody hits your car, you are also in trouble. So it is better to be on the safer side by putting car insurance. For every year, they bring it together, so it's like uh, 50,000 yen. So when you divide it time, uh, by 12, it's about uh, 4,600 yen every month. So these are the expenses I make on my car. So my next expenses in Japan uh, is my phone bill. So take for example, I am using this uh, iPhone 11 precisely. So this phone was bought on loan. For the phone loan, the uh, unlimited uh, call uh, within Japan and uh, mobile data. It cost me 10,000 yen every month for this phone. So. The next expenses is uh, life insurance. So, you know, life is very important and sometimes life also gets very hard. Maybe someday you will be diagnosed with uh, some kind of uh, cancer and you need a uh, big, huge amount of money to take yourself to hospital to make surgery. So with this life insurance, I uh, think uh, you can get uh, a lot of help from it. So that's why I registered this life insurance for hard time because I don't want a situation where we'll be going for aid to Nigerian community or some kind of aid community to come to my help uh, because of my health issue. So I'm preparing that for a hard time. So the next expenses is, uh, uh, is my food expenses, you know, every month I take uh, food to work, uh, I also eat at home, you know, I buy my toiletries, I buy uh, dish uh, liquids for washing, detergents, you know, all those kind of uh, stuff you use uh, every day in your life within the house. 
so i just put everything under house food expenses and for every month i spend 15,000 yen for all of it so that is my food expenses for the month so now that we are done with uh, the entire expenses in japan the next expenses is uh, our personal expenses and uh, uh, which is uh, Nigeria expenses, you know, we as an African people <laughs> Work in Nigeria, you know, they are not uh, left uh, out of my life So uh, we keep supporting them because our country is not good And uh, that is the reason why we have to travel all this far Just to support ourselves and keep supporting them too so my next expenses is uh, uh, my Nigerian expenses which is uh, sending money to my family in Nigeria so every month I send uh, to them 22,000 yen which is approximately $200 for them for their upkeep you know that is all also my own uh, way of uh, supporting the economic uh, situation there in Nigeria so that's my uh, exp monthly expenses for my family, my loved ones in Nigeria. So the next expenses is my private life expenses. So this uh, private life includes going out in a nice restaurant to eat with some families and friends here in Japan. Uh, it includes buying something nice for myself because I love fashion. So uh, I love shoes. I love to buy nice shoes for myself. Uh, it's a way of uh, saying to myself, oh, you worked hard this month. This is what I, uh, I should give to myself. So when you put those expenses together, so it costs uh, me 20,000 yen. I reserve 20,000 yen for all those kind of expenses. And that was uh, all about uh, how I spend my salary here in Japan. You have uh, actually seen that majority of the facilities that I enjoy here, which is my house, my cell phone, my car, every of it, we are purchased on loan. So I am paying gradually, gradually for it every month. So we that live abroad also have our own expenses to pay and we have to pay it at when right, at when due. Because if you do not pay for it, they will cut off your electricity or cut off your cooking gas and you will be homeless here. And here nobody says, oh, I beg you, I beg you, I go pay next week. Oh no, we don't do it here. So they have uh, already fixed uh, this country the way it should work so I think you should participate in that economic uh, process so my beloved brothers and sisters in Africa uh, we that live abroad have a lot of bills and problems to face so no matter how little that we give you please appreciate it that we are doing all this all because of love it's not easy here at all thank you guys for watching See you next time. We that they are abroad, we know get money or everything a packaging. Bye bye.